Professor Rakesh Mohan Joshi, the guest of honor of our program, Professor and Chairman from Indian Institute of Foreign Trade, Dean University, New Delhi. My request, Dr. Pallavi Mehta, to welcome Professor Vibhav Shaw, Professor and former Director, Delta Institute. I am an IIT, well-known academician and scientist of our country, heading various committee of government of India. We are fortunate to have among us today as chief, as guest of honor, Professor Rakesh Mohan Joshi, chairperson and professor, Indian Institute of Foreign Trade, a distinguished academician, an eminent author, and renowned management expert, having a consistently meritorious academic background. We are also privileged to have as a keynote speaker, Mr. Ramit Padia, founder, CEO, founder and CEO at Aspire Human Capital Management. Mr. Ramit has 20 years of management experience and till recently served as CEO of WNS Knowledge Service, which, service, which he built to a 1,200 strong operation. Being a knowledge source facility among us, Sir, we are sure to have benefits of your thoughts and knowledge in course of this colloquium. We are, we are delighted to have chairperson of this national colloquium, Professor Ravi Trivedi, Vice Chancellor Mohanla Sukhari University Udaipur, a popular academician, prolific author of many books with a sound combination of best administration and management guru. We make them promise strong, but also cultivate good human values in them. I am taking pride to inform everyone present here that few months back, thus, we have been adjusted as one of the leading PGDM institute in entire Rajasthan for providing holistic education. This prestigious award was conferred to us in an award ceremony organized at IIT Delhi and the award was given by none other than our chief guest and honorable vice chancellor, CS, CBS, Professor B.S. Bissar. We are proud that today, he has obliged us by his precious presence, which is further adding glory to our esteemed institution. Sir, we assure you that we have kept the standard of our objective, challenging one, to remain as contender of such recognition in the future too. Now, in the years of our philosophy today, we have initiated to organize this colloquium to draw an attention of a think tank towards the need of infrastructure development in India which is organized by PIMT under the aegis of Mohan Sukhari University, Udayapur selecting Golden Jubilee, and Pacific University putting new horizon of education together. Because infrastructure is not only a backbone of any nation, but it is a vital career of subsidiary growth and development in every field, which eventually, eventually serves the masses and mankind. Social and physical infrastructure development in every fundamental field is so crucial, and still we have to do a lot about it. As even emphasized by former President of India, Dr. Abdul Kalam, in his different deliberation, because in the name of achievement, we still cite an example like Grant Trunkrod, talk about reservoirs of drinking for drinking water constructed by us 12 kingly kingdom states, railway initiated by Britishers. Though these are the milestones, but how long we can satisfy ourselves by citing only these examples, who have been contributing and meeting the need of masses up to the brink. We need to have better infrastructure, not only in terms of roads and railways, but also expedite our efforts in meeting our power and energy needs by increasing our production capacity of electricity.